Police have arrested a woman holding a child severed head near an underground train station in northwest Moscow. The 39-year-old also threatened to carry out a terror attack. Now here you can see the woman dressed in black, according to witness accounts. The woman took the hat out of her bag and started shouting that she had killed a child. We go live now to Artisa Gore Piskunov, who is at the scene with more details for us. Hello, Igor. So what do we know so far about this story? This is truly a shocking story. In fact, we're still gathering information, but the more details emerge, the more troubling the story gets. As if you probably understood by now, we're standing right near the entrance to the metro station, Oktyabrska Polia, not far away from Moscow center, where a few hours ago that uh, extremely worrying situation happened with the woman uh, was walking around with a severed child's head, uh, screaming that she's a terrorist, threatened to blow herself up. Thankfully, she was arrested by the police, but still, uh, they weren't able to prevent in any way what happened to that uh, poor child, only three or four uh, years old at the moment. So let me just put the, the situation in perspective, how things seem to have uh, worked out. Uh, it first started with a report of a fire at an apartment building not far away from here. Uh, firefighters rushed to the scene of the fire inside the apartment. They found the body, a beheaded body of a child. Uh, and then at about maybe a little, a couple of minutes after that, this woman appeared here uh, with the head of, of, of that child. According to the investigators now, she's currently being uh, tested for uh, mental, mental illnesses. She's also being tested for drugs. Uh, they do believe that she's the one who, uh, who killed that uh, poor child. It's known that her, the child's mother was rushed to the hospital unconscious after finding out uh, what happened and uh, well we will be of course bring you the details of uh, this the troubling situation but, uh, for now we'll be trying to speak to some of the locals who by the way some of them were still here and they were saying they couldn't believe that this was happening real uh, in real life they were saying that they thought this wasn't a real head the mannequin but they are truly are still in shock everyone who saw this happening here a truly shocking story indeed, Igor. Thanks for bringing us up to date. And as you said, you'll be doing more work there on the ground, talking to people and their reaction to what happened today. And uh, of course, we're waiting for some investigation to uh, reveal some, some of the leads there. Igor Piskanov, thanks for talking to us.